Okay, hello guys. So welcome back to my channel, The Game Boy. So this is the second episode for the special Unisim uh, design uh, video series. Uh, and in this uh, video, I will talking about multi-stage refrigeration. So uh, it will be different from the previous one. Uh, about the case kit refrigeration now we have uh, several stage of compressors and also several stage of flashings uh, so yeah uh, it have a different uh, flow sheet also a different way to do this so uh, this is what we are going to do uh, in the simulation uh, we have this kind of flow sheet with three stage of refrigeration uh, we could see that from the compressor stage and also yeah the blowdown stage uh, and so what is the pressure point of this uh, simulation is not about your inputs or how uh, do you convert the simulation yeah but uh, what is challenging here is uh, where do we start so uh, when you look at this flow sheet uh, you might be confused on where should we start because if you see here this is a kind of closed loop process so there is no such kind of input uh, it is a cycle so uh, one of the challenge here is to decide where to start actually if we have an enough information it is yes, very simple to know where we start but we could see here that the information that uh, known is very limited and as an engineer one of the challenges is uh, how do we able to deliver uh, the yeah, simulation yeah, with very little information yeah so from what i guess that this information yeah as shown in the uh, share screen is enough to make the simulation converts but we should have an early guess and uh, an early uh, an early yeah an early guess for converging the simulation okay so i will get you uh, to this uh, flow sheet first as i said the step is to decide where we should start the simulation uh, if you could see that we have some mixers uh, and as you know if we have some mixers uh, it is a little bit hard if we will start from the point behind me the mixers yeah, because uh, we have if we have this information we don't have this information yeah it is for the mixer uh, 100 uh, for the mixer 101 if we have the 10d information we don't have the uh, fab 8 information so it is uh, quite hard to start from behind the mixer so what i want to try here is to start after the mixer so it is between 10c 11 or 1 okay because uh we don't mix it with anything so it is only a single uh, value that should be known to proceed uh, and the next step is where should be set between these three options so uh, we could see here that uh, it is better to start in number one yeah because a lot of information here in this area so i guess that it will be better in number one okay so let's start it uh, first let's add the component list I will add propane. Yeah. Add propane here. Let's use a pan Robinson fluid package. Okay, so it's enough. Let's go to the simulation farm. Okay, so now let's start with number one. Yeah, stream number one is here. So first of all, the composition is of course only the propane. Yeah, later you can try with the other refrigerant, but in this video I will use a propane refrigeration. So the next step is what is the pressure or what is the temperature? Yeah, uh, from what we see here, we don't have uh, enough uh, information on this, but Actually, this stream number six gives us a clue. We could see that this uh, number six information is the pressure is 140 PSI. 
Okay, so uh, if we are assuming in V101, the pressure drop is zero, it should be the vape six is also 140 PSIA. If so, number one, it should be lower or equal to 140 PSIA. So for early, let us use the 140 PSIA. Yeah. First of all, let us change the reference here into field. Okay, like this. Okay, let me type 140 PSIA. Next, the temperature. Yeah, we don't have also uh, any clue about this. Uh, but let's have a, ga a guess with the uh, yeah with the closest unit we we could have a guess of 100 okay wow when we have this guess we should make sure that it will be in the vapor phase why because we will, uh, the number one stream will go to a compressor so uh, 100 will be a quite good guess here if we could see that the saturated point is in 77 so yeah we'll go for 100 first later it may be changed that value the next one is the flow rate so here uh, we also don't have any clue about the flow rate uh, but we could see that this is a closed loop so we can put any value here so example i want to put uh, 20 pounds per hour Okay, so uh, our number one stream is converged now. Let's have save. Okay, next one is it will go to a compressor. Look, this number two. Give the energy W K one. Okay, now. Uh, we also could see that uh, here we have uh, limit information yeah. on uh, what is the pressure here. Yeah. So for now, let's give it a blank. Yeah. We are proceeding to the cooler. Okay, number okay. Is cooler here. This one is QD. Bird three. Okay. First of all, we could see that from the information, the pressure drop is zero. Okay. The next one, we uh we don't know any information again. Okay. Uh, what we know is about the stream four. So okay, so let's proceed first to the stream four. Stream four. Uh, so we will use another cooler here. Okay. So what we know here, the first is the pressure drop is also zero. And we have an info that the paper fraction is zero. Okay, so the paper fraction in number four is zero. Eh, sorry. Then the temperature is 105. See, when we uh, when we specify these two items. It will calculate the pressure, yeah, because we know the compositions. So two of this will uh, calculate the other one. So we know the pressure in stream four, uh, and we also know the pressure in stream stream three. Uh, on uh, yeah, on the conclusion, we also know what is the pressure on stream two because the pressure drop is known here. Okay, so uh, the only missing one is. What is the temperature of stream three? And here we don't have any information, but we uh, we know that here number two is one hundred thirty three, and the last one is one hundred five. So number three is should be between these two. So uh, let me have a guess with uh, one hundred fifty. Yeah. So in this case, we should make a guess here, yeah, because we don't have any information. 
Uh, yeah. So, so number three will be number between 133 and 105. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a save. Yeah. The next part is it will go to a vessel here. Yeah. To face vessel. To make it similar, let's change the icon. Yeah. Like this. Okay. It will have to output the 5A and the 5. Okay. Yeah. For now, the paper face is 0 on the input. So actually, 5A will be 0, the flow rate. Yeah. But just we just uh, will uh, go on here. Okay. The next step is we will flash the liquid here with a, flat, uh, with a valve. Let's input valve. Okay, the output of the valve is six. And the pressure will be 140. Okay, so now we could see uh, number one is 140 PSIA and number six is also 140. Uh, now, after we have this, yeah, we will put it to a separator. Up six. Twenty seven. Okay, so this vapor six will be recycled back to the input here. But we uh, still don't know number twelve. Okay, so uh, yeah, we will not put the mixer now. We will put it later. Okay, the next step after the the first flashing is the second flashing. We will put a valve here. Yeah, valve here to eight. Pressure will be forty. Yes, okay. Add another separator. Seven and nine, yeah, and nine. Okay, and the last flashing. But then, now we have a temperature information, not the pressure one. Yeah, but yeah, uh, you could see that the model still converts. Uh, when we input the temperature value. Okay. Name is vapor 10 and then A. Okay. This all vapor will be recycled back. Okay, well, while the liquid product now in turn A will be heated to saturate point. Okay, so I will put kind of this here. Flip. Yeah. Then B. Okay. Uh, let's put the delta pressure into zero. Oh, and the vapor perfection become one. Okay. The next step is we will put it to a mixer. So okay, this one. Let's connect here. Okay, maybe I will connect the upper first. Like this, yeah, and we will get the information of the outlet. The outlet will be number 10C. 10C, 
Okay, we are safe now. Okay. And then this tensor will be uh, compressed. AK3. Bending. Now the problem is what pressure will be bending. Yeah, because we don't have any information here. Uh, in this example, I, I use set. So I will set the pressure of tendy is the same with the vapor 8. Why? Because vapor 8 and tendy will be mixed together. So the pressure should be uh, the same or yeah, uh, one uh, tendy is higher than uh, vapor eight. Uh, in this case, I will make it the same. And, uh, okay, so I will put mix it. I'll connect the vapor eight. It should be vapor eight. Yeah, we'll connect this, this paper A. Yeah. And then D to number 11. Okay. Like that. I will make it a little bit left here. So here we still not converge because we don't have any information about the 10D, but actually we could make it equalize all here. Yeah. So the pressure of 10D will be the same with the vapor 8 pressure. Okay. Number 11 will go to another compressor. So actually uh, the rest will be quite simple now. Yeah. Because uh, we already know the, uh, the pattern to do this flow sheet. Not at least 12, we keep. Okay, we also don't know the pressure right now, but we can have a mixer. Okay, so it will be mixed into one. Yeah, the mixer paper six and number 12, like so. And we will have Actually, because we have an information here about the pressure, yeah. So we don't need to have this equalize all. We can just come here, yeah. Uh, and we can uh, delete the pressure here. Okay. So we will move the pressures back to this. Okay. So this one is over specified yeah, because uh, we could see in, in number one, uh, there's, uh, the temperature, we could this, delete this one here. Yeah, because it will be the the summation yeah, between the vapor six and vapor 12, yeah, uh, it will be calculated. Uh, the temperature will not be input here. So you could see that after we delete the temperature specification, we could have a, fully comfort simulation here uh, and you could see that our gas at first 100 fahrenheit is not that far away from the calculated one it is 106.5 so yeah i guess it is a good one so this is the simulation flow sheet a lot of things here you could uh, calculate more so for an example, you can calculate the COP, you can calculate the efficiency, uh, you also can make an optimization study on what is the optimum pressure, what is the optimum blowdown uh, for each stage. So a lot of uh, study could be done here for this uh, multi-stage refrigeration and it will be your turn now to explore more on this flow sheet. And if you have duplicate this flow sheet and you want to share it on LinkedIn, uh, don't hesitate to do it and tag me and i will look at your uh, work okay so that's all for this video uh, thank you for watching and see you on the next episode bye bye